Hello and welcome. I'm here today to talk with a very special newcomer to the Quabna Reservoir. He is quiet, he is stealthy, he is known as a gentle giant. He is the moose. Well, hello again, you all. Again? I was under the impression that this was our first time seeing you on this show. Are you kidding? My kind was here and stretched all the way down south to Pennsylvania long ago. When did you leave? Around the mid-1800s, I hear. By then, only about a third of that old-time forest was left. The rest had been turned into farms by your folk. So then, you retreated to the north? Sure did. I'm not the first to return to Massachusetts, though. That came about ten years ago, back in my calfling years, before I even had my antlers. How many moose would you say there is in Massachusetts now? There's about a good thousand of us, I'd say. And are you enjoying your stay? It's freaking hot down here. I mean sweltering. How do you folks manage? Yes, Massachusetts isn't exactly Alaska or Northern Canada, which I believe this is what your physique is made for. Actually, would you mind describing for the viewers the particulars of your weight and height? I'm about a thousand pounds and six feet tall at the shoulder. Um, are you sure? Of course! You should see my brother. He's the biggest moose on the block, tipping the scale at 1,300 pounds he is. How do you feed such a massive physique? I take down a good 40 to 60 pounds of forage a day. The name moose means eater of twigs, you know. Mostly I like to browse through the selection of birches, oaks, aspens. I like underwater plants now and then. We moose are mean swimmers. And if I'm hungry enough, I'll scrape away a bit of bark. But only when no one's looking. You know, I have to ask, because I'm sure our viewers are curious, could you tell us about the collar you're wearing? What collar? The one around your neck. Dear God, what the f is that? Well, I think... Oh, I know. There was that time a few weeks ago when I was just minding my own business and then suddenly this hunter came up and just wham! Hit me like a little arrow in the side of the neck and then everything went dark and... Yes, in fact, if, not, if I'm not mistaken, that was no hunter that shot you, but a team of ecologists that are studying your return to the Quabbin. They they will tranquilize moose and then attach a collar that you are that records where your movements are man so that's why all the guys were laughing at me why because of this necklace around my neck like i said it's not a necklace it's well in any case it looks like we're out of whoa 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 hold on man so you're telling me that these weren't hunters out to get my fine antlers, but some ecolalagalis that just wanted to put me to sleep and decorate me up? Well, yes. Moose is not legal to be hunted in Massachusetts. You mean to say, I have no predators here? No hunters? Nothing? That is correct. Woohoo! Take that, Canada! Well, that really is all the time we have today, I'm afraid. Thank you to our viewers for watching, and remember, if you see a moose in the wild, they may seem to be gentle, but it is best to be cautious, because they can quickly become aggressive and unpredictable. That's me, aggressive and unpredictable. Good night.